afternoon everybody and welcome to the Mirabel Palace Gardens here in Salzburg. We arrived in Salzburg literally about an hour ago, threw our bags into the hotel and we are off and we are out ready to see what Salzburg has to offer us. Sorry Danny, I keep cutting you out with a frame as per. The heat is absolutely steering. I am sweating from places I didn't know I could sweat from. It's literally like every place that we're moving to, it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter and as expected, requiring less and less clothing every time. <laughs> But isn't this the most perfect view? I can't wait to go and explore. We have so many places on our list for tomorrow. Unfortunately, we're here just a little bit too late today to get in and see a whole lot. But we are going to spend the evening getting our bearings, going for some nice dinner, and wow, taking some Instagram shots, obviously. Got my cameraman here setting up. Where are we going, Danny? Where's today's shot? <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> The train coming into Salzburg was probably one of the most beautiful train journeys I've ever taken in my entire life. I could not stop looking out the window. I was trying to edit a video and simultaneously look it out the window. It was ridiculous. It's so, so beautiful here. White walls, the terracotta roofs, everything is just so extra. Yeah, please. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, please. Danny was so kind to buy me gelato. Thanks, Danny. I walked away and when I turned around, she was over ordering. <laughs> He didn't have a choice. So I got white chocolate and coffee and the girls seemed quite impressed. She said she'd like to try them herself. So maybe I've discovered a combination here that's really gonna work for some folks. White chocolate and coffee, epic. Good gelato, good view. Okay view, <laughs> you creep. Obviously Salzburg is the home of Mozart, if you didn't know that. So of course they capitalize on it in every single way possible. Plenty of merch. <laughs> Salzburg, day two. two. <laughs> we are walking back through the Mirabel Palace Gardens. We're on our way up to the Hohen Salzburg, which is a giant fortress on top of the hill. We have early bird tickets, which means we have to be there for 10 a.m. So we are in a mighty rush. I love these bridges with all the locks on them, with all the couples, hoping that they'll last. Overlooking an absolutely gorgeous view of both sides of the river. Stunning. Do you know what's really sad though? There was a lock back there with just one name on it. Oh. <laughs> Poor Ali. Shout oh, out Ali. Ali. Sorry, Ali. <laughs> I have a lock for us to do that, Danny, if you would like to in Paris. Uh, I think this is a really great time to be out and seeing the city because it is quiet. We are, as I say, we've got early birds. Getting in before the heat of the day really strikes because it's already about 90 million degrees. So obviously because this is the home of Mozart, there are literally always concerts on. And there was one here last night and they had all this area cordoned off. But we could just see the stage here and we could just hear the performers, which was really nice. We're just rolling up to the fortress now. We're actually going to be going up this little lift here. Just in front of us, if you can see, my past my big finger. Super glad we have the tickets though. I would not appreciate walking up that size of a hill. <laughs> and that is the temperature for 9.40 a.m. We have made it the whole way to the top of the fortress. Look at these views, everybody. How incredible is this? My God. <laughs> Not that. I honestly didn't think that the view could get any better, but it just did. I'm literally living in a Disney film right now. This is insane. We're up so high, there's literally helicopters flying right by us. We're done with our tour. So basically when you buy your ticket online, you get everything included. You get access to all the museums, you get a guided audio tour. So we've done everything. And of course, all that walking around, up and down the steps, works up an appetite. So there's a little restaurant up here and it's so cute with amazing views. So we're gonna grab a small bite to eat and then head back down into the town because I have a salt shop I really want to visit. When in Salzburg. Well guys, I have to say, I've had worse meals and worse views. This is Gamuza strudel and I butchered another name. It's a vegetable strudel on a pumpkin and ginger sauce with some wild rice. Stunning. I'll do my best to try some traditional dishes. Goodness me, that was a bit of a close one. <laughs> 
the main squares of Salzburg is absolutely beautiful. I think you really find the heart of the city when you come down the little back streets, see all the trinkets for sale. There's also no better place to meet some locals than at their local farmer's market. Look at the pretzels! Pizza pretzel, yeah, I'm looking at that too. <laughs> Do you want to try one? Go on, sure, go on. You know you want it. That's it, Danny. Bring me my goods. It's just cheesy bread, isn't it? Delicious cheesy bread, though. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I've been loving the fact that Salzburg is so compact and so small that you can walk around it and don't have to worry about getting buses literally anywhere. If you like biking, I would rent a bike and I would fly around this city. The traffic here is 90% dogs. Yeah. <laughs> dogs everywhere. Doggos everywhere. And what an amazing change of weather in an hour. It's gone from spitting the stones 32 degrees to essentially a rainstorm. We're making our way back to the hotel after dinner. My dinner today was not, not what I wanted it to be. It's the first meal that I had since I arrived here that was not pleasant. Danny, on the other hand, had a fantastic margarita pizza. Getting prepped for Italy tomorrow. Yeah. But yes, yeah, so we are getting the night train tonight, late. 1.30 a.m. straight through to Venice. So we need to go and get ourselves ready. And with that said, we will end our Salzburg vlog there. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned a little bit about Salzburg and what you might expect if you come here. We had an absolutely brilliant time here. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more of our European adventures. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!